take a moment to stop and think about how amazing the horse is. This huge animal has been one of mankind's closest and best animal buddies. <laughs> Since, well, since pretty much forever, you can pet them, you can ride them, you can get them to pull your plow, and if you're Italian, you can even eat them. Sometimes. But there's a lot of horse breeds out there, each with amazing characteristics. From the horse with special powers to the horse that's loved through all of Peru, here's the 20 rarest horse breeds ever. Number 20. Medicine Hat Horse All horses are magnificent creatures, but the name Medicine Hat Horses has a mystical ring to it. Medicine Hat Horses are not only extremely rare, but they're also said to have extraordinary abilities. But beyond tales and riddles, what exactly is a Medicine Hat Horse? A Medicine Hat Horse is technically a Pinto Horse. Pinto Horses have coats that alternate between white and black spots. Medicine Hat Horses, like other Pinto Horses, are patched. Their black markings, however, are few and mostly restricted to the head and ears. These horses are distinguished by black patches on their heads and ears that resembles hats or bonnets. The face is mostly white, however, some individuals may have little black spots on the chin. Similarly, the horse's body is mostly white, but some have black spots on the flanks or belly. What would happen if one of these horses showed up on your farm? Well, after this baby horse was born, her owner realized just how incredibly rare she is. Technically, medicine hat horses have a Tovero coloring mix, which is a cross between a Tobiano and Ovro patterns of Pinto horses. Medicine hat horses can be any color found in Pinto horses, such as black, chestnut, brown, palomino, roan, gray, or yellow. The predominant hue, however, is white, which makes these horses exceptionally unusual usual, medicine hat horses, like other pinto horses, are not classified as a breed. Rather than a breed, any horse with the appropriate coat pattern can be a medicine hat horse. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Peruvian Peso Horse the Pesofino horse is one of the most beautiful horses in a stable. Because of its natural gait and demeanor, this horse always draws the attention of spectators. From front to rear, they are smooth, rhythmic, straight, and balanced. The rider experiences a smooth and balanced ride as a result of these motions. The Pesofino is widely used and can withstand all seasons and climates. From the Florida Keys to the Pacific Northwest, and from southern Southern California to the New England states, it may be observed. It is also seen in eastern Canada, Mexico, and South America. The Paso Fino is utilized for a variety of tasks, from the show ring to the ranch, demonstrating his flexibility to overcome any duty. The Paso Fino is a descendant of the horses of the conquistadors of Spain. When Columbus arrived in the Americas, he learned that horses had been extinct for 8,000 years owing to the Ice Age. On his second journey to America, he took a select group of horses from the Andalusian and Spanish Janet areas. The Peso Fino was formed by combining Andalusian and Spanish Janet. Los Cabalos de Peso Fino, the horse with the fine step. As more Spanish people arrived in the Americas, they brought more of these Spanish horses with them. Throughout the 500 years that the Peso Fino horses have been bred, they have served in a variety of functions. Number 18. The Galiseño 
Galicenos are a rare breed of horse descended from horses introduced into Mexico by Spanish conquistadors, starting with Hernando Cortes in 1519, over the following several decades. Mexico by Spanish conquistador, starting with Hernando Cortes in 1519, over the following several decades, waves of Spanish conquistadors, missionaries, and settlers established breeding groups throughout Mexico. These horses were also the end ancestors of the colonial Spanish horses of the Americas, the horses were isolated in southern Mexico, where the initial groups were founded, and Galicenos evolved by natural selection. DNA testing have shown that modern Galicenos are exceptionally pure with no genetic markers from the other breeds and are genetically closest to the prehistoric Garanos of the Iberian Peninsula. During the 1950s, Galicia horses were introduced from Mexico to Texas. The Galicia Horse Breeders Association was formed in 1958, and the breed was formally recognized. Despite their diminutive size, they immediately gained popularity as cattle horses due to their agility, endurance, intelligence, and inherent cow sense. Galicios demonstrated their ability in horse exhibitions in Texas, and Galicio clubs were established in Spokane. Washington, and Orlando, Florida in the 1960s and 1970s. However, by the mid-1970s, these groups had no sponsors, the horses had scattered, and their numbers had decreased. There are probably just a few hundred surviving, and the most of them are not in breeding condition. Only a few breeding ranches remain, a couple in Texas and one in Florida. Galicios of Suwaney Ranch in Live Oak, Florida is committed to the preservation and development of this breed. Number 17. Akal Teke Horse the Akal Teke is descended from Turkmen raiding horses, which were first mentioned around 3,000 years ago. The contemporary Akal Teke dates from about the 8th century, making the breed the most direct surviving descendants of the ancient Scythian horse. The word Akal means pure, and it is also the name of a distant oasis linked with the nomadic Teke tribe, which shares the second part of the breed's name. The Teke Mene people are descended from the ancient Scythian and have long lived in Turkmenistan, which borders Iran and Afghanistan to the north. The Teke's nomadic lifestyle necessitated the need for horses of tremendous endurance capable of traveling huge distances quickly and without trouble. The Teke's bred horses with a fiery temperament and strong stamina, and their popularity spread across the world, making them highly sought after as war and race horses. The Teke's established and maintained this breed for hundreds hundreds of years via an oral history of lineage preservation, the Akal Teke remained virtually untouched for many centuries. It was mostly found in Central Asia, but it was also found as far north and west as Russia, where it was maintained in the royal staples. Turkmen's were still proud of their horses, and in 1935, they launched an incredible advertising campaign to draw attention to the breed. In 84 days, a mounted troop of Akal Teke stallions traveled almost 2,500 miles from Turkmenistan's capital, Ashkabahad, to Moscow. The trek included a 225-mile passage of the Karakum Desert. With minimal water available, the horses successfully traversed the desert in three days. This incredible endurance ride was repeated in 1988. Number 16. Suffolk Punch Horse the Suffolk Punch, often known as the Suffolk Horse, is a native heavy horse of the United Kingdom. Farm mechanization has contributed to their near extinction, although people are becoming more conscious of the breed's significance in rural history. With its distinct color, contribution to agricultural and military success, and intriguing history, the Suffolk Punch has acquired a devoted following, keen to seeing it through to the end. The modern use of the Suffolk Punch is developing as a result of these 
these efforts, and enthusiasts are committed to ensure their future as an important element of the equestrian environment. A Suffolk Punch is a big horse developed in East Anglia for agricultural labor. The Suffolk Punch is a rare breed of horse with a distinctive chestnut coloring. These magnificent and awe-inspiring creatures are the subject of cutting-edge research aimed at preserving and expanding the breed. The Suffolk Punch is the oldest English working horse breed and one of the most endangered native breeds. The Suffolk Punch has been placed on the Rare Breed Survival Trust's Category 1 watch list, and there are fewer Suffolk Punches in the world than even giant pandas. The Suffolk Punch is a large horse breed to plow the clay soils of East Anglia. It is well suited for forestry and agricultural labor. The color of the Suffolk Punch is one of its distinguishing characteristics. Suffolk Punches are traditionally classified into seven shades. Black liver, dull dark, light mealy, red, golden, lemon, and brilliant. Number 15. Soraya Horse the Soraya is a rare breed of horse native to the Iberian Peninsula, specifically the Soraya River region in Portugal. The Soraya is distinguished by its primitive characteristics, which include a convex shape and dun hue with primitive patterns. Some scholars have proposed that the Soraya is a descendant of early horses from the naturally existent wild fauna of southern Iberia. The link between the Soraya and numerous wild horse varieties, as well as its relationship with other breeds from the Iberian Peninsula and Northern Africa is now being studied. The breed's members are tiny yet tough and well adapted to difficult surroundings. For years, they were sometimes caught and utilized by local farmers, and a residual population of these almost extinct horses was found in the early 20th century by a Portuguese naturalist. Today, the Soraya has been the focus of preservation efforts, with European experts leading the way and fans from across the world developing programs and establishing herds to help with the re-establishment of this species from its present endangered condition. The Soraya's kinship to other breeds is mainly unknown, as is its links to the wild horse subspecies Tarpan and Chevalsky's horse. The Soraya originated on the Iberian Peninsula's southernmost region. Number 14. American Cream Draft Horse the American Cream Draft Horse is the only draft horse breed established in the United States. They first appeared in Iowa in the early 1900s and have remained uncommon ever since. Their narrative starts in 1911, with a mare called Old Granny who was auctioned off at a farm sale in Story County, Iowa. Old Granny was a cream-colored draft mare with no known ancestors that was born between 1890 and 1905. She routinely produced cream progeny, and her cream lineage piqued the curiosity of a few Iowa breeders, particularly after the birth of the stallion Silver Lace, a great, great grandson of Old Granny in 1932. Silver Lace was a towering figure reaching 16 feet tall and weighing 2,200 pounds. Cream draft horses were popular in the regions around Melbourne, Iowa during the 1930s. Clarence T. Ryerson, one of the owners who became interested in the breed, purchased all of the mares sired by Silver Lace that he could locate. He studied each cream horse's lineage and documented their pedigrees. Ryerson was a founding member of the American Cream Draft Horse Association, which was established in 1944 with 20 members and 75 foundation animals in the registration. By the time Ryerson died in 1957, 41 members of the group had registered over 200 horses. However, just as the American cream breed was gaining popularity, the draft horse industry collapsed. Because of agricultural mechanization, the bulk of workhorses were slaughtered. Draft animal breeding was practically halted. Except for the transfer of a single horse, the American Cream Horse Association sat dormant for 14 years. Fortunately, a few individuals kept their creams, preserving a limited genetic basis that served as the cornerstone for the breed's survival. Number 13. Black Forest Horse 
The Black Forest horse breed originates from a densely forested area of Germany. The area is noted for its natural beauty, cuckoo clocks, and the Black Forest Draft Horse, a unique horse breed that emerged from the zone. The Black Forest Horse is a tough breed with a chestnut coat and a flaxen mane and tail. They are strong horses that have been bred to operate in the difficult circumstances of the Black Forest area. Oversized draft horse breeds are well known among horse aficionados. However, most people are unaware of the Black Forest Draft Horse, a smaller draft breed. The Black Forest Horse is very uncommon around the world, with the majority remaining in the area of its origin, Baden-Württemberg, in southern Germany. It is believed that there are 1,200 purebred Black Forest horses in the world, with Baden-Württemberg having 700 of the breed. The regional stud farm, Haupt und Landgustot Marbach, is home to 20 of Germany's 50 Black Forest stallions. The Black Forest region is chilly, highly forested and mountainous. Because of the particular traits of the horses from this area, they were able to survive, work and flourish in the tough climate. The Black Forest is the highest point in southern Germany's scarplands. Number 12. Camarillo White Horse this unusual breed of horse arose in the early 20th century and may be traced down to a single foundation sire called Sultan. Sultan dubbed the stallion of the dream was a Spanish heritage and brilliant white with brown eyes. He was born in 1912 and around 10 years later at the Sacramento State Fair, he was seen and appreciated by a gentleman called Adolfo Camarillo who bought him for $500. Adolfo returned Sultan to Ventura County and started a breeding program with them, using Morgan horse mares, in the aim of preserving the white coat. Sultan passed on his color traits to his offspring, just as Adolfo desired, and a family tradition grew with the breed. This line of horses was privately owned and bred by the Camarillo family for the following 65 years, and after Adolfo died, his daughter Carmen continued breeding and parading the Camarillo breed. Carmen's death in 1987 brought the species to the brink of extinction. In her will, she stipulated that the horses would be sold at public auction, thereby terminating the Camarillo family's exclusive control of the breed. The horses were all sold according to her desires, although there were only 11 of them remaining in 1991. The Camarillo White Horse Associate was formed the next year in reaction to the danger to safeguard the surviving horses. Today, the survival of the the Camarillo white horse breed is in the hands of personal breeders who take the breed's preservation extremely seriously and still parade them across the nation. Number 11. Marwari Horse the Marwari Horse, or Malani, is a rare breed of horse from Rajasthan's Marwar, or Yadpur, district in northwestern India. It is closely linked with the Kathiawari breed of Gujarat's Kathiawar Peninsula, with which it has a distinctive inward curving ear form. It may be found in all equine coat colors, including piebald and skewbald. It is a tough riding horse with a natural ambling pace. The Rathors, the historic rulers, of Western India's Marwar area were the first to breed the Marwari. They advocated stringent breeding that fostered purity and toughness beginning in the 12th century. The Marwari was a cavalry horse used by the inhabitants of the Marwar area throughout history. It was known for its devotion and courage in combat. The breed declined in the 1930s as a consequence of bad management techniques, which led in a drop of breeding stock, although it has recently recovered some of its appeal. The Marwari is utilized for light draught, agricultural labor, riding, and packing. In India, a breed association for the Marwari horse was established in 19. For decades, the exporting of Marwari horses was prohibited. However, between 2000 and 2006, a limited number of shipments were permitted. Visas permitting temporary travel of Marwari horses outside India have been offered in limited quantities since 2008. Despite their rarity, they are growing increasingly famous outside of India due to their distinct appearance. Number 10. 
Bashkir Curly Horses Bashkir Curlies are a horse breed that is athletic, adaptable, and calm. Curlies come in a variety of sizes and hues. The variety of coats range from non-expressed curls to tight curls. The ordinary Curlies winter coat is tightly curled in the winter and sheds out to a wavy summer coat that resembles crushed velvet in appearance in the spring. Bashkir Curlies are the only horse breed that is hypoallergenic. Most persons who are allergic to horses can handle curly horses without experiencing an allergic reaction. The Bashkir Curly's origins are unknown. However, Charles Darwin observed curly horses in South America in the early 1800s, and the early Sioux Indians revered curly horses as holy mounts for leaders and medicine men. Curlies are shown in Native American art as transporting warriors at the Battle of Little Bighorn. After being shot practically to extinction in the first half of the 20th century due to their distinctive look, the Bashkir Curly Register started in 1971 with just 21 horses. Today there's around 4,000 Bashkir Curlies in the globe, the majority of which are in North America, with horses being sold all over the world, with Germany being a favorite destination. The Bashkir Curly has a distinctive lengthy stride and aggressive movement. They have robust hooves and are quite durable. When presented, Curlies have split manes and are not braided or cut. Number 9. Caspian Horse the Caspian is an ancient breed that was thought to be extinct for nearly a thousand years. This breed is most likely the most direct progenitor of oriental breeds, and hence of all light horse breeds. The Caspian is exceptionally uncommon, having been saved from extinction only in 1965. Leading archaeologists are currently studying it to verify the relationship between the present Caspian and the little ancient horse of Persia. Louise Farouz, an American residing in Iran, is credited for bringing this old breed to light. Caspian heads are short and fine, with big eyes, a tiny mouth, and large nostrils situated low on the face. The forehead is prominent, the ears are quite small, the neck is thin and beautiful. While linked to sloping shoulders, the withers are pronounced, the back is straight, and the tail is positioned high on a relatively level crew. The legs are slender with solid, robust bones and minimal fetlock feathering, the hooves are extraordinarily robust and oval in form, resembling those of an ass rather than a horse. The Caspian gives the appearance of being a tiny, well-proportioned horse. Subsequent osteological research corroborated the ocular view. The Caspian is a small horse, not a pony. The hue varies from bay to gray to chestnut, and in rare occasions black. From July 1965 through August 1968, a study was done to identify the range and estimated number of extant Caspians. According to the assessment, there were roughly 50 miniature horses with distinct Caspian traits all over the Caspian Sea coast. Because the people were dispersed, it was almost impossible for any of them to be regarded totally pure. Number 8. Cleveland Bay Horse Cleveland bays are the UK's second most endangered species. The data was announced on April 17th by the Rare Breed Survival Trust in its 2018 Danger List. It is the most endangered native horse breed in the UK, with just 64 breeding females remaining. Suffolk horses are again among the top five on the list, with 80 breeding females registered. A little rise from the 75 recorded in 2017. With rare breeds, we have a saying that used to save it, but with the Cleveland Bay, we are using them a lot to put style, power, and bone into the general horse population. RBST field officer Richard Broad noted, However, because we aren't breeding enough purebred animals, future generations aren't guaranteed to be able to. To save the species, we need a significant increase in pure breeding of Cleveland bays before they go extinct. Extensive efforts are being made to preserve the UK's original equestrian breeds. The Cleveland Bay Horse Society promotes Dr. Andy Dell's breed advice program, which supports the genetic health of the worldwide Cleveland Bay population 
population. In October 2018, the RBST inaugurated its National Gene Bank Initiative with the goal of preserving genomes from uncommon breeds to prevent extinction. Number 7. Exmoor Pony did you know that the Exmoor Pony is mentioned in the Doomsday Book? This is what many people think makes them one of Britain's original horse species, and speaking of which, the Exmoor Pony may really be Britain's oldest pony, according to research. True Exmoor Ponies come in a variety of brown colors, with the most common being bay, dun, or a somewhat deeper shade of brown. They also have mealy-colored markings on their nose and around their eyes. Exmoor Ponies are generally believed to be gentle, trustworthy, and hardworking, which is why they make great first ponies for learning to ride. But how can they make a living on the moor? Exmoor ponies, on the other hand, are tough and durable. <laughs> They are literally made for outdoor existence on the unpredictable moorland. Exmoor ponies have acquired an additional fleshiness on their forehead, known as a toad eye, which aids them in windy and wet circumstances. They also have a coarse coat that encourages rain to flow off rather than saturate on them. The Exmoor pony is the biggest of all British pony breeds, according to the Guinness Book of Animal Facts. Number 6. Harris K. Pony the Eris K Pony is a Scottish pony breed. It is mostly gray in color and has a robust waterproof layer that protects it from the elements. The breed originated in ancient times in the Scottish Hebrides, where a tiny population stayed pure and safeguarded from crossbreeding due to the island's isolation. It is used for light trot work as a child's mount in a variety of equestrian sports and for driving. The breed is now considered critically endangered by the Rare Breed Survival Trust the Eris K Pony originated in the Outer Hebrides, a series of western Scottish Isles. The breed's origins are old, having roots in Celtic and Norse breeding. It resembles paintings of horses seen on ancient Pictish stones in North and West Scotland. It has ancestors in other northern breeds, such as the Icelandic Horse and the Faroe Pony. The Eris K gets its name from the Outer Hebrides island of Eris K. Originally, the breed had a sizable population, and Eris K and similar ponies could be found across Scotland's western islands until the mid-19th century. They were employed as crofters' ponies, pack animals, for light draughts, and as kid mounts. Number 5. Frisian Horse Frisian horses are a rather uncommon breed. According to some estimates, there are presently fewer than 1,000 Frisian horses registered in North America. Despite being a reasonably prominent dressage and carriage horse, the Frisian's horses are highly adaptable and willing, yet they are large in stature. They are known for their beauty and graceful attitude, as well as their high-stepping stride. They are suitable for use as harnesses, resulting in a strong, nimble, and flamboyant driving squad. Squad, they are becoming more popular as dressage horses because to their power, movement, and body control. They are beautiful and sparkling horses all around the world. Frisians have also gained popularity in the film and entertainment industries. This owes a lot to its popularity to Stallion Othello, who starred in the 1985 film Lady Hawk. The Frisian horses have also appeared in the films Aragon, The Zorro Mask, and 300. They have powerful bodies that are compact, with strong sloping hindquarters and a lovely low tail. Their arms are quite short, yet powerful. Frisians, like fashion models, have an excellent bone structure and exuberant hair. Number 4. Nabstrupper Horse the Nabstrupper is an exquisite and exotic-looking horse breed with a fascinating appeal and, sure, a wonderful name to say. When seen from a distance, a herd of Nabstruppers could seem like a herd of giant leopards, but no, they're simply a herd of amazing horses famed for their endurance and speed, as well as their eye-catching spotty coat. There are many intriguing facts about the Nabstrupper horse that you should be aware of, ranging from its history to its disposition. Continue reading to learn more. Nabstrupper 
horses are a relatively new breed to the United States, having arrived from Europe in 2002. Their roots, however, may be traced back to ancient spotted equines endemic to today's Spain due to cave drawings. In 1812, a chestnut mare with complicated leopard patterns, known as Flabihopen, was bred to a solid-colored Fredericksburg stallion, and the contemporary Nabstrupper was born. This mating produced a strikingly spotted colt, who was then mated to a slew of other high-quality horses, resulting in still more brightly colored progeny, known as Nabstruppers. For decades, this horse was among the most sought-after breeds in Europe, until the 1870s when its uncommon gene pool started to suffer from inbreeding problems. Number 3. Shire Horse the Shire is a British draught horse breed. It is often black, bay or gray in color. Shires are a tall breed, and they have held world records for both the biggest horse and the tallest horse at different periods. The Shire has a high weight pulling capacity. It was employed for agricultural labor to draw barges when the canal system was the primary mode of commodities delivery, and as a cart horse for road travel. One original purpose was to pull brewers' trays for beer delivery, and some are still used used in this capacity. Others are used for forestry, riding, and commercial advertising. The Shire breed was founded in the mid-18th century, however, its roots date back far further. In 1876, a breed association was created, and the first stud book was produced in 1878. Shires were plentiful in the late 19th and early 20th century, and many were sold to the United States. With the gradual mechanization of agriculture and transportation, the need for draught horses fell precipitously, and by the 1960s, numbers had dropped from a million or more to a few thousand. Number 2. Dale's Pony According to the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy, there were roughly 800 Dales ponies worldwide in 1999, with approximately 60 in the United States, making them an endangered species. The Dales live on the eastern side of the Pennine Range in northern England, while the Fell ponies live on the western side. The two ponies were formerly thought to be of the same breed, nevertheless they are cousins who share a genetic history. The Fells ponies are smaller than the Dales ponies. Dales are tough, sure-footed riding horses with a lot of endurance. Their life on the moors has given them a nimbleness on foot that allows them to be skilled jumpers. The early Dales were mixed with Clydesdale blood in an attempt to expand the size of the breed, but this endeavor backfired. The gene pool dwindled to the extent that the breed was thought to be two-thirds Clydesdale in the 1900s. The Dales Pony Improvement Society was founded in 19. 1916 to protect the breed's integrity. Number 1. Newfoundland Pony the Newfoundland Pony is a pony breed native to Newfoundland, Canada. They are strong and muscular ponies that come in a variety of hues, including the somewhat uncommon white coloring. The Newfoundland evolved from a cross of English, Irish, and Scottish pony breeds brought to Newfoundland by immigrants during a four-century period. They were originally free-roaming. Before being crossbred to form the present breed, they were employed as draft and multi-purpose ponies by settlers until the mid-20th century. When automation and slaughter almost drove them extinct, the population increased somewhat with the establishment of a breed registry in 1980, but it remains low. The Newfoundland Pony was named a historic breed of Newfoundland and Labrador in 1997, giving it legal protection, although the breed has yet to be recognized under the Canadian Federal Animal Pedigree Act. Have you ever seen any of these rare horses? Would you prefer to ride a Shire horse or a pony? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!